Hello, Skinner. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking, Superintendent. It's always a pleasure to see you. Your home looks lovely. Thank you. I try my best to keep it that way. Would you like to take a look around? I would love to, but I'm here on official business. I came to discuss the upcoming school event. Oh, yeah, the annual talent show. I've been looking forward to it. Me too. I hope we get a lot of participants this year. Speaking of which, have you decided what act you're going to perform? Not yet. I'm still trying to decide. I want to make sure it's something that will impress the judges and the audience. I understand. Well, let me know if there's anything I can do to help. I'm always here to lend a hand. Thank you, Superintendent. I appreciate the offer. No problem, Skinner. Let me know if you need any assistance with the preparations for the talent show. I will. Thank you again. Ah, these scones are burnt. What on earth has the devil done wrong this time? Hey, <sighs> defensive. I didn't do anything wrong. You were the one who decided to handle the cooking. Well, I should have known better than to let you handle the cooking. Maybe I should take over and show you how it's done. But first, I need to figure out what went wrong. Did I use too much heat or not enough ingredients? But it's not like I wanted this to happen either. Maybe if you paid more attention to the recipe instead of gossipy, instead of gossiping with those hellhounds, we wouldn't be in this situation. Either way, I won't let this setback stop me from perfecting my baking skills. The devil may be the prince of darkness, but even he can't keep me from making delicious scones. I'm going to make a delicious lasagna for dinner tonight. Let me go to the grocery store to buy the ingredients. Okay, I'll meet you there after work. Great, see you later. Now I'm gonna start cooking as soon as I get home. The sauce is on the stove and the noodles are boiling. Now, let's layer the cheese and meat. It's done. Time to set the table. Dinner is ready, let's dig in. What's that smell, Skinner? Oh, it's just steam, Chalmers. I'm making steam scones. Steam? That looks like smoke to me. Fine, I messed up. I thought I could pull off a steamed scone, but I guess I overcooked it. Well, Skinner, at least you're honest about it. Let's just make sure it doesn't happen again, all right? Wait a minute. This isn't steamed scones, is it? It tastes like risotto al gorgonzola. I was just having a bit of fun with you. Chalmers, you know how much you love to try new dishes. This isn't some kind of prank. I don't remember ever trying this before. I assure you, Chalmers, there's no trickery involved. Just enjoy the delicious risotto al gorgonzola. Well, I suppose it's too late to send it back. But don't try to fool me like that again, Skinner. My apologies, Chalmers. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. Let's just enjoy the rest of dinner, shall we? Fire! Look at the flames! It's just a death spirit. Don't worry about it. A death spirit. How do you know that? I'm telling the truth. You don't want to see this thing up close. I need to see this for myself. Don't try and stop me, Skinner. No problem, Skinner. However, I can't help but notice the house is still on fire. Then I know. I know, but trust me, it's just a death spirit. I hope you're right, Skinner. <laughs> anyway, I should be going. Thanks for the scones. No problem, Chalmers. Goodbye. And goodbye, Skinner. Take care of that death spirit. <laughs>